it's Lisa here so today's video is a uh, part two of the Q&A video series I'm doing and I already did part one so if you want you can go and check that out later as well and yeah and I have my Instagram here and the questions you sent me and the first question I'm gonna answer today is the person is asking uh, basically how come I tell in the videos that you will go to your set point weight when actually there are like many overweight people in the world and this is how I see it and definitely I'm not like an expert on why people are overweight or obese like this subject is definitely very complex and uh, yeah but I have learned something over the years so I can share it with you as well and I have like a whole section in my book where I explain this exact question so you can check out my book but the basic thing is that when your body is healthy and normal then you won't just start randomly like gaining weight just by eating as much as you want like for example i am now like normal weight i am i have normal hunger cues normal hormonal functioning normal metabolism and everything and i could i can't just even force my body to start overeating or gaining weight like my body wants to maintain the set point weight no matter what and if some days i eat more let's say then my body will compensate for it and it will increase my metabolism it will decrease my hunger it will make me feel very hot it will make me feel more active so i will just burn off those extra calories and i have done a video about this as well so the basic thing is that yeah i will repeat again like if your body is healthy and normal like you can't just start gaining weight randomly the same thing is with uh, under eating like if i would force my body to under eat like dieting and restricting then my body will compensate for it it will uh, it will slow down my metabolism it will increase my hunger it will make me feel very cold to conserve the calories so like my body will force me to gain all the weight back and even when i try to restrict still like my body will lower its metabolism to fight the weight loss so your body tries to maintain your set point weight no matter when you're under eating or no matter when you're overeating but when you come from the eating disorder then i can agree that like your your body is not in the healthy normal state but the purpose of recovery is not to make you like, get overweight and obese like no the purpose of recovery is to make your body healthy again and when you have been restricting starving yourself when you have a lowered metabolism then the fact is that you need to start eating more to repair your body and to repair the hormonal functioning and to repair the metabolism functioning and to restore your normal hunger cues your body you can't just think yourself better so uh, when you have been starving and restricting then to compensate and to come out of it you have to start responding to your body and your body wants to eat so much and this is uh, like the healthy response from your body but over time your hunger will start to normalize your metabolism will speed up because your body wants to maintain the healthy set point weight and also the set point weight mechanism is uh, like already proven for example the minnesota starvation experiment when those men starved on uh, 1500 calories they got so skinny but after in recovery yes they ate some some men even ate 10000 calories or like 11000 calories like overall i think it was said that they needed at least like 4000 calories to uh, to come out of the starvation but after that their body recovered yes for a while they started to restore more fat 
because it was the starvation response from their body to protect themselves from, from the future famine. But after a while their weight stabilized at their set point as it was previously. And also, maybe you don't know, but there is this other study that was done on uh, prisoners and those men were uh, like overfed for I don't know exactly how many months it was but some men were overfed up to 10,000 calories to make them like uh, forcefully gain weight and you know what happened when they stopped the overfeeding and those men just started to listen to their normal hunger cues again those men just naturally lost all the weight until they were back to their set point weight because the body actually fights the weight gain and it wants to bring you back to the set point so even in recovery when you eat like so many calories then when your body starts working again it will actually start to decrease your hunger increase your metabolism over time uh, only when you stop the restriction and then your body can start to function better and then you will end up being at your set point weight so yeah i hope you understand that the purpose of recovery and eating however much you want it's not the purpose to make you overweight but actually restore your body's normal functioning so it can uh, kind of maintain the set point weight effortlessly just as i am able to eat whatever i want whenever i want and just uh, maintain my normal weight without any willpower, without no restriction, no dieting and no exercise. But if you're wondering about other people in the world who are overweight, uh, then yeah, like you don't actually know really what's going on with them. Like you can't just uh, see somebody and say that they are overweight because they are eating too much and exercising too little. Like there is like so many other reasons why a person is overweight and as I already explained then a normal healthy body doesn't just uh, like start to gain weight like just randomly for no reason so to really understand why a person is gaining weight we have to first see the underlying reason why the person is gaining weight and for example uh, as you already know then dieting can mess up one's uh, body like the hunger cues metabolism and dieting uh, also yo-yo yo dieting uh, and also even just the restrictive mindset can make you gain weight over time so this is a big one and also reaction to medication for example the birth control pill can make you gain weight because of the hormonal reaction you can have from it and also maybe you have some uh, like metabolic issues like uh, problems with your thyroid and also stress can be a major factor of weight gain also like not sleeping enough not sleeping regularly can make you gain weight over time uh, also depression and also like not eating healthy but in recovery where I talk about like eat whatever you want and even eat the processed food and junk food like I don't say it to make you overeat I just talk about my own experience I come from binging on junk food but I, I couldn't get over this binging on junk food when I just try to control it even more but I got over this binging on junk food by allowing myself and by releasing this restrictive mindset and allowing myself have this food however much I want. And now, therefore, like I am not binging, binging on junk food anymore. And this is why I have the normal eating again. This is why I can eat like a quite healthy, balanced diet now. But if I would have told myself that no, junk food is bad, junk, junk food will make me overeat, I would keep on binging on junk food. So I really hope you can see how uh, like recommending you to eat whatever you want, it's not to make you overweight, but actually to restore the normal hunger cues and normal cravings. And also I want to say that, for example, me, I never got underweight. I didn't even lost weight in my eating disorder. Maybe a little bit here and there, but nothing like dramatical. Maybe even not like a one kilo. But now you might say that, yeah, but if I'm weight restored, I'm now normal weight or normal BMI, but I still have the huge hunger cues. 
I still feel like out of control with food, I still have the binges, then yes, even I as having the normal weight, I also had the binges, I also had the extreme hunger because no matter my weight, I still came from bulimia, I still came from orthorexia and uh, I still came from purging, I still came from over-exercising, I still came from doing the fasting, the intermittent fasting and uh, with my orthorexia I forced myself to eat the healthy food even though I craved something else and that's why I had the junk food binges so like no matter what's your weight you still can have like such a huge hunger and in my recovery or even like in my eating disorder habit I had the binges but you might say like yeah but how can you have the binges if you are normal weight but it's not only about the weight like even if you're overweight but you restrict yourself or you compensate your calories you can have the binges and even what I learned from my own experience was that uh, even with the diet mindset like only thinking in a restrictive way can make you binge out no matter if you are a normal weight or even when you are like eating enough calories but just having the diet mindset by saying to yourself that you can't have something by having these rules and restrictive thinking about food or always focusing and having this fear about the weight and you need like the need to control your weight only by having this mental mindset can make your like body out of control and the hunger cues messed up uh, yeah, so I just want to make it very clear that this is not only for those who need to gain weight or yeah, it's not only about the weight and the physical thing. But at the same time it is because when you come from restriction, like your body will need to like binge it, over it just to compensate the restriction. But also the mental, the restrictive diet mindset, what you need to restore as well and therefore you need to eat. And for example, in my recovery, I easily ate over 3000 calories. And this wasn't even for me like binging day. It was just my normal recovery day it was 3000 calories just because I was hungry for that much. And sometimes I ate even more, like over 4000 calories. But at that point, I just stopped counting because I know I was okay, I'm eating enough, like for sure. But I let my body eat this much. And yeah, I had normal weight all this time. Yes, I had in recovery, I had the bloating, I had the water tension, I also had the fear that, oh my God, like I would just keep on gaining, 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 but I didn't. It's because my body wanted to maintain a set point weight. It increased my metabolism thanks to I was eating uh, like more calories. So yeah, and now I'm just very normal weight even though eating like uh, more than 3000 calories in my recovery for most days. So yeah, I want to make it very clear. It's not only about the weight, you still need to eat enough. And I want to also add here that some people are just naturally higher BMI and they are naturally like by genetics meant to be more bigger and curvier. And it doesn't mean that there is something wrong with them or that they are unhealthy or that they are binging or that they are only eating junk food or that they are not exercising enough. But they are actually just like eating normally, exercising normally, and they're just naturally built this way. And there is nothing they can do about it, and this is their healthy body. And uh, But we as society, we are just obsessed about the skinny body type. This is why when anybody else is bigger, we automatically think that they are just uh, binging on junk food and not exercising or something. And there is something wrong with them. The most important thing is that you don't have the eating disorder, you're eating normally, uh, you don't have any food obsession, you are not binge eating, you have normal hunger cues, you have a healthy relationship with food, uh, you have a healthy relationship with your body, and this is the best thing you can do for your weight. And if you want to know more, you can read the book Health at Every Size. And I am reading this right now. I think I'm almost like halfway through now. And it really explains how you can have this healthy mindset with your body, with the food, with your weight, with exercising and everything. And not focusing on the weight loss as a only health marker, because it's definitely not. And yeah, rather focusing how to build this healthy relationship with food and your body and exercise 
exercise and just like living and accepting uh, like how you are and not trying to change the appearance but really starting from the inside out this video is i think already like 10 minutes or something so i will only have this one question answered for this q a but i will get to more questions very very soon uh yeah so i hope you got something interesting out of this and i know many people have asked me about this question as well i have talked about this uh, in my other videos but I hope maybe next time like you can just see this video and you know what I would say and I hope it answered your question. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next Q&A video.